Good game to Ed. Good game to Rodrigo. Nicely done. Let's take a look at the next challenge here. I'm going to ask our competitors to take a screen capture of this bracket. Uh, and with that, we're going to get into this next round, which this song sounds very dramatic, so it seems like it's perfect for this next <laughs> round. All right, guys, I'm going to give you the countdown now in three, two, one, go. So these guys are both agreeing that, you know, everybody's agreeing that when I say go, they're going to start a new document. That way we all kind of start off on the same foot. Yep. And uh, let's see. Let's let's see what we can get into here. So this model, bit. you know, just a bracket, a corner bracket, right? Just a bracket. Pretty straightforward. So it would we, seem. we see a slightly different approach, though, for now, Toby. In the first example, they both shown the same profile to start with. Now it looks like they, they might do things a little differently, which is interesting. Yeah, mixing it up a little bit this time. I like it. I like it. You know, it's uh, it's what we always talk about in Essentials, right? You got to yep. decide on the best starting plane. You got to decide on the best starting profile. Um, and you got to kind of look at that print. And, you know, these guys only have about 30 seconds to look at the print, you know, if that. Um, when we do the turn, it, this probably seems like a lifetime for them because when we do the live streams on Monday nights or on Saturday mornings, sure. uh, it's, you know, it's instant. As soon as I show the print, you got to go, 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 go. Yep. Uh, but uh, this time they have at least a little bit of time to plan it out. But, you know, it's it's all about starting starting plane, starting profile. And it's it's like you said, Dan, it's so interesting that sometimes they start the same. Sometimes they start totally different. It's, it's uh, you know, in terms of interface, too, like we will see that Rodrigo has like the dark theme and and. Um, maybe a little bit more customized than what you're seeing from Ed. A couple extra toolbars as well. Um, what's that toolbar he has in the far right, Toby? I don't even know that one. Is it? Um, that looks like a, sure. it's got kind of a amalgamation of. I was going to say maybe it's a custom one. Maybe it's something he put together. Yeah, there's a. I see measure over there. I see uh, some almost like custom macros. I see drive works at the bottom. Spell check. Yeah. Is it? Is that first one spell check? <laughs> It oh does my gosh. indeed look like it, yes. Toby, I think Rodrigo started over. Whoa, full restart. Full restart. Okay. We'll okay, see maybe this... opening up the door for Ed to take take over here to take this win. See. Um, yeah, Ed's dealing with a with a thin uh, thin feature there though. Okay, so now he's backing out as well. Um, this is interesting, Toby. You would look at a part like this and think that it, it wouldn't really give you that many challenges, but um, We'll see, and they're they're both kind of running through a couple of the same tests here, or came, uh, same examples. Right, the same challenges. Yeah, they're, yeah, it's it's very interesting. Um, and even even Ed, I mean, I, it doesn't look like he's doing a full restart, but I, I noticed that it looks like a lot of his geometry went away. So maybe it was just an inadvertent hide. I think we've all yep. been there before. You go to start a sketch and it ends up hiding. I like the way Ed. Ed both looks like both Ed and uh, well, Rodrigo's crushing it with the S key. He's got his S key really maxed out there, which I love. Um, and it looks like uh, Ed has got a lot, a lot going on with the uh, context toolbar. Where when you click on something, a menu there it was a second ago. You saw that it's got a lot of extra little customizations in there too, which is awesome. Yep. Oh, okay, I see. I see what Ed's doing there. That's yeah. nice. Nice, uh, essentially like a surface cut, right? Yeah. It's so, like a, almost, yeah. Okay, and he's gonna flip the side. Yeah. I love seeing all the different user interfaces, and in this case, even like localized uh, to a different language. Yep. So um, cool. Ed being in Brazil, is this, is this, you said Ed's in Brazil? Yep. So this is either Spanish or, or Portuguese. Um, and shame on me for not knowing. Oh, but. man, that's me last week, right? 3167 was I know. Me yeah, time. I know. So what <laughs> I learned, like, uh... I'll tell you what I learned is that um, because, uh, because Rodrigo is in Portugal, they speak Portuguese. And because Ed is in Brazil, I mean, in, in Colombia, they speak Colombian. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I thought Brazil actually, I think was in Colombia, I think they actually do speak Spanish. And Portu Portuguese, I think, is like 80 plus percent similar. Most of to these guys are probably screaming right now. They're yeah, like, exactly. And all their families are like, unsubscribe. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unsubscribe. <laughs> I should not talk about these things. Look at this. They're, Unsubscribe. They're both almost back at the exact same feature in the end. They're both doing that boss up at the top, that circular boss up at the top. I do see. I was wondering if, Ed, if those bodies are merged at the bottom, but they are. I do see one body in the one, tree. Yep. Good one call. Salito. I see one Salito in the tree. So one Salito. One, one solid body. Look at you. Yeah. 
Yeah, I speak uh, Portuguese Spanish. Okay, I like it. So this is gonna be this is gonna be very interesting the way this last feature is created. This is actually kind of an interesting feature. I originally had it a little bit more uh, complicated, a few more angles involved, but I was uh, I was a little bit nervous about how it was gonna be handled. So oh, I love love yep. Ed's approach there. I agree. And uh, JMG in the chat is confirming Ed is Colombian Spanish speaker. Ah, thank you. Yeah, JMG. Thank you, Much JMG. Love. Yeah. GG JMG. GG JMG. Ed is so close here, Toby. Yep. He is like right at the finish. Doing line. that final, that final look over. Make sure yep. he's got everything. <laughs> Three one six seven says, "LOL, Americans." <laughs> 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 he's not wrong. <laughs> this is interesting though, because look at uh, look at Rodrigo. That's a challenging feature there. And Very challenging. To, that zero yeah. thickness can definitely get you. But Rodrigo, yeah. I got good news for you. You don't have to worry about finishing it because Ed has gotten the correct answer. Oh. 7187 grams. Very nicely done to Ed. Congratulations. Ed is going to lock up the win there. So very nicely done, Ed. So now we're going into round three of this first match. First person to win two wins. Ed wins that second one. If you guys could, please give Ed a GG in the chat.